It found much evidence of the GEA's amateur code being abused. No, and we didn't expect to find a major abuse either. The uh, reason why the subcommittee was set up was that, uh, to be honest, uh, some people were claiming that there were major abuses. And on the other hand, there were people who were claiming that uh, there were a lot of cases of players not being treated uh, generously enough uh, by uh, at county level in particular and so it was to look at both ends of the spectrum as it were and to see if there was reason for a major worry with regard to one aspect or another. Did you find any evidence at all of abuses by players? Uh, we did to be honest we did find some evidence and uh, uh, the only basis on which uh, as you will appreciate that we could get people to speak openly to us was that we gave them a guarantee that uh, there would be no follow-up prosecutions as it were with regard to evidence that was made available but uh, we did get some evidence of disquiet disquieting things and the interesting aspect of it was that almost in all cases they were uh, aided and abetted by uh, GA units themselves. What sort of things were the abuses uh, that you found? Well the uh, major abuses were the question of uh, uh, payments way over the scale to coaches for teams. We found that there were more abuses there than there were in relation to players, for example. So that would be the uh, number one area. And uh, the second major area we found was that uh, there was a growing incidence with a small number of players, uh, of top uh, players, of looking for uh, appearance money, as it's commonly called, for attending club functions to present sets of medals, etc. But never any evidence of uh, players being paid to play the game, hurling or football? Uh, no, uh, we found no evidence whatsoever of that and uh, we found a very strong resistance to that type of concept uh, among the players. You did find some evidence though of players being paid to play in New York? Uh, yes, uh, that has been uh, uh, commonly known over the years and uh, we found it difficult uh, to pin down exactly the amounts and it appears that there is no set amount and uh, I suppose that stands to reason that uh, a lot depends on the amount of disposable income that the people have over there who bring players out. But basically uh, we felt that there weren't enormous amounts of money involved when you take into consideration the uh, fact that most players who go to a major city like New York will probably spend fairly liberally while they're there. But it would be very hard to stop it, though. You, you, it would be impossible almost, wouldn't it? Uh, well, it, it uh, would be very difficult, and uh, that's an aspect that obviously with the affiliation of the New York GA, that is one of the aspects that we will be discussing with them. You're probably aware that they have already decided to ban hurlers being taken out from Ireland. So uh, we will be discussing the question of uh, footballers with them uh, in the near future. Liam Mulvihill on that report, which goes before Central Council later on this evening. But during the week, Cavan lost their team manager.